hit me. Man, I'm man. Kevin Gates, my cousin. Y'all know what's up with real niggas, man. Y'all know y'all can't. You know, you know you gotta watch your tone. But anyway, but we, I'm, I'm a big lover though. And the crazy part is, we gonna get to that. We gonna get to that. But listen. Yes, sir. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome back to Jam Pack Open Stage Festival. And who do we have on deck right now? Got your boy, Neek Biko. Call me Neek Biko. I'm named after Steve, uh, Stephen Biko, South uh, Africa. Look him up. Denzel played him in the movie. He started the Black Consciousness Movement. My grandfather was a Black Panther. He named me, my middle name, Biko. So I, go, I went with Neek Biko. Okay, so I hope you've been laying out on the altar because you've been placing a pause, but I'm just not even about that, right? Are you gonna just jump oh out? Of, are you just gonna jump? Oh my god, I'm so are sorry. Are you just gonna jump right up in it? I'm so sorry, y'all. I've been dragging this man for so in, long, shit. and I just wanted to apologize. I you, gotta apologize. you ain't gotta apologize, but, but you gotta get you gotta get both sides of the story. And it's Hollywood. You seen the, the scene, man? Come on, come on with the question. Omg, never ever met. Like, did y'all never ever meet for real? I know this is about your music, and we do want to follow your music. We want to. Streaming, downloaded, all of that. But did you really, really, really never ever met her? Okay, so do, can I can I be long winded or short winded? Please just tell me. I don't. Okay, remember. okay, okay, okay. Look, so I went viral on Kendra. Kendra G. Shout out Kendra G. Shout out. I love Kendra G. Yeah. I love Kendra. That's my. I'm Ken, I'm I'm Kate. Can any nigga say nothing about Kendra G around me? Period. Uh, went on there, but I know her personally. So I just was in the bathroom, 1942, taking it to the head. Um. Double sink was getting drunk. He like double like, sink. It. Hold on, watch I'm out. Tell Kendra everything. Double sink, big ass jacuzzi tub. I'm from 59th. I grew up sleeping in abandoned homes and shit. So this is my first luxurious apartment. So I'm in there just feeling myself. Wow. And I, I hang out with a lot of old. I hang out with a lot of old niggas and shit. If I stutter, excuse me, y'all. I'm just a little tipsy. Whatever. Don't think I'm slow and shit. Look, they, I'm they in, be dragging me on Reddit and shit. I'm in and everything. your business. Who cares? I'm tipsy. I ain't retired, nigga. I'm smart. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm crying. Okay, so you you was in the bathroom having a little. She tequila. called me on Instagram live. She had told me she wanted to go. And she says, "Come on, come on my live." That's all she said. Come on, come on my live. I'm like, I ain't know about the show. I jumps on there, pop my shit. I say, uh, I say, uh, I like a. I said, she asked me about on her I, fine love show. Right. So you was on Kendra G's show where she's trying to find people love. Okay. For sure. Show. And then so we talking about one specific significant other. We ain't talking about me just pushing P. Everybody just look at me and think I'm pushing P. Right. But this ain't community dick. You dig what I'm saying? You we think that you out. pushing blurt, pause. Blurt, We're blurt, thinking no, that, that, hey, out. bitch, you play around. Get these pause Listen, placed. I'm getting and to you want to play with me, I, I the pause will be placed. Okay, that's all I'm thinking. I'm just going to be nice to you because I ain't got it like that. I ain't ready to, you know what I'm saying, do what, I, do what needs to be done. I'm, gonna give you the, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the build up, right? So okay. I goes on there. It ain't regular, right? I, You know, it wasn't regular. Uh, the next day, the views was fucking crazy. Man, I woke up to 4,000 inbox. 4,000 inboxes So from the girls They was trying to get with you Yeah Okay Right Even after you placed pause But you know girls No no this, crazy. this is before place pause Okay I'm sorry So mm -hmm. um um, oh, You funny as hell Niggas don't care They're like fuck it Hit me Hit me Man I'm man Kevin Gates my cousin Y'all know what's up with real niggas man Y'all know y'all can't you know, you know you gotta watch your tone But anyway But we I'm, I'm a big lover though And the crazy part is We gonna get to that We gonna get to that But listen We did an interview or whatever And then um I wakes up it's millions of views or whatever. She's playing the interview back to back on the radio for a week straight. What? So I got my fucking grammar school teacher who follows me on. I mean, I mean, everybody you can think of whoever known you called me like, nigga, you famous. You don't fucking kid your G Blase Blase. You popping your shit. Mm -hmm. I just had bought that Dolce Cabana uh, crew neck. It was crispy. I, the tag was dangling out the back of that motherfucker. Period. Man, look, I work hard for my shit. So look. I'm just popping my shit and then it went viral because I said, she said, you, you, what, what kind of body type you want? I said, well, either if you ain't trying to go to the gym and you lazy, cool. I'm a little lazy sometimes. We, if you ain't going to the gym, we going to the doctor. And that's the part. And she, that's what you got. And out of the whole 30 minute interview, she clipped that shit, which I ain't mad, KG. I fuck with you. And uh, played that shit back, ran that shit back. And that's when the producers hit me up. We talking about Warner Brothers. Imagine waking up to an email from Warner Brothers. Okay, this is this is before Never Ever Met. I just want to This is before. This is how I got to Never Ever okay, Met. Okay, I'm just go for I'm the sorry. scenery now. Look, I'm let me little, know. I'm a little assertive, but I'm still demure. You're not demure, because I'm nervous right now. Like, I'm trying to get, look, I didn't do did a couple of those. I didn't know what's going on. But you, you, might, but look. you, but you feeling all kind of different shit, though. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all be, these niggas be, I'm scared. These niggas be y'all getting away with shit. Look, um, 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 goddamn... 
Wake up to the 4,000 inboxes. Wake up to, a, it was like a, like a meal, a meal on the views or whatever. Most views I ever got. I went, I went, I had got some views before. I, some, some reels and shit went viral. Mm -hmm. 60K, 80K. To wake up to see M's and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, that damn, they crack. Yeah. You know, I grew up, you know, 59. My daddy sold crack. My mama sold crack. I've been on my own since I was 12. I raised wow. myself. You know what I'm saying? I grew up by myself. Mm -hmm. uh, so, to, I, I always, but I always been, I always loved uh, to create. Mm -hmm. Fashion, uh, um, um, music, um, art. So I always knew that. I always seen that. Even when we was in the trenches and we was like sticking motherfuckers <laughs> up just so we can go eat and shit. I'm like, man, it's, it's just something in me is like something is in me to go like to make some. That's what I, that's what I hate about Hustle. the show. Yeah, you know, to create. You know what I'm saying? So anywho, that shit happened, and then boom, the producers hit me up the next day and said, Hey, have you? They literally was like, Have you ever yeah, met? We can just edit it. Edit them out. We could, we could, we could. We got, okay, just two minutes. We about to go. We got five minutes, white oh man. So look, and then they hit me up and said, uh, have you ever met somebody? Have you ever have you been talking to somebody that you never met? I got the 4,000 inboxes. I'm like, of course. I'm, let me just go on here and pick somebody. Just pick somebody, right? Mm -hmm. I picked the wrong. I shout out to Lex, though. But I just picked. The, I just went to the 4,000 inboxes and just picked Lex, who you see on the show. And was like, hey, look, I got to play. We gonna because stay. why why it was a bbl for you it was the bbl for me and that bbl was bbl and even that on BB, tv it was, it was just a bb it wasn't no air. i always say it was just a bb because i got there I, as you can see i didn't like the, the body or whatever but still i still respectful you was rude about I it told you her, were rude about it you were not, not respectful rude. what are you talking about you we, were did not yoga. we did yoga i gave you up. did yoga but then you was like you was trying to fill on the bbl but then you, so. then you disrespected her in the midst Man. of it like <laughs> How did I disrespect her? I need uh, to I need to go crazy on this guy, but this guy, this white man, just walked in and told me I had two minutes. Now I'm feeling nervous. Mm -hmm. But you were rude to her. Yes, you when were. You were doing yoga. Yes, after the yoga, during I the yoga, her Vegas you wasn't said, far. We can get okay. married. I bent the over. I, I, I said I had to make sure her arch was right. That's being disrespectful. Oh, oh you feel like it was disrespectful because I bent the over, and make sure her arch. Because I don't like a bad arch. You up in this motherfucker like this here. You know what I'm talking about? I can't do that, girl. I know you were you mad because I said I, I was checking making sure her arch was right. Anywho, fast forward, I told her it's a play. It's a play at the end of the day. Okay, Me and her ain't been it. talking. Mm -hmm. This ain't nobody I've been dating. I see her. It wasn't nothing I was interested in. I didn't like her nothing. I didn't like nothing from head to toe. So then we goes to we in a, we in Calabasas. We in the mansion. Producer sliding left and right. Um, I said, hey, no matter what happened, let's let's respect each other. We ain't gotta like each other. I said we gonna go in here and do this show. I'm gonna lead this motherfucker. I'm gonna get on my Joe Budden shit, start a podcast. Cardi B came from a reality show. You can, right, you right. can fucking start rapping. I, I rap. I write you a song. Cardi B low key came from Instagram. She came Man, from she stripping came from and people hip hop. Nope, she was a stripper. People fuck with her being a stripper, and they gave her a platform which was Instagram. But okay, y'all, we gonna. So listen, let me fast forward. So okay. then, um, she says, "Hey, look, I'm on my, I'm on my period." So we, oh, my period comes on tomorrow. We need to go have sex today. Wait, what? I'm. T it was a boom boom room. Remember on Fresh Prince, on for Fresh Prince of Bella, that that house that Hillary stayed in. Uh -huh. That's the room they designated for us to go. It was called the boom boom room. Everybody was going back and forth, coming back like ah ha ha ha. I'm sitting there playing dominoes as you see on the show. She's like, nigga, come on, my period come on tomorrow. We got to get this shit in today. I'm ducking her because I ain't like the way her body was looking, kind of botched. But she gained weight. Skinny girls get BBLs and then the legs be little. That's how it look. She gained 60 pounds. The body looked decent. And now I'm, I'm, you know, we back rocking and rolling. But at the time, the legs, she looked like chopsticks with goddamn look like a lollipop. You did? Look like a lamb chop lollipop. You said you back rocking and rolling? For shit show. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put a pause here. So where can we find you real quick? Go ahead and shout out your Instagram. Nick you Biko, come back. Nick Biko. Uh, it's, gang, 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 gang. Come on, gang. Let me, let me, let me. Let me drop my shit, gang. Let me drop my shit, gang. Don't do that. Y'all look too wild up in here. Neek Beacon on Instagram. I'm on HBO Max. I said, let me do my drop, gang. Nothing happened, nothing happened. Respectfully. I'm on Instagram. You can find me on HBO Max, like Amazon, any app that you can watch movies or TV shows. The show is on there. Um, I got my Tasha K interview just dropped two weeks ago. Did an interview with Billboard. I watched it. I love Tasha K. Tasha K did an interview with Billboard last week. Um, we got some shit uh, going. Uh, uh, the girl that was just on uh, 
I forgot the fucking uh, podcast that's in LA. It's a lot of shit going on, but just go watch the show. Check me out. N I Q U E B I K zero. Nick B goes to show. You did. I love it. Tap you in. Tap in. He is on deck. You I cannot wait. Oh my god. They get wild I'm, up in I'm here. I want to strangle this man. I'm so. I'm you don't know the whole story. I'm in two with him. Y'all in two. I'm in two with. Hey. We in two right now. That's yeah, what it is. Oh my god.